Last time on Lucky Fish. <laughs> we left Africa behind, enjoyed some fast sailing, got excited about seeing a ship, and Toya used a Mongolian trick to bring back the wind. Why are you pointing that thing at me? Because <laughs> you're swallowing your <laughs> fucking food. <laughs> yeah. We're always talking food on this boat. <laughs> Somebody once said, when you're at sea in a small boat, boring is good, exciting is bad. <laughs> we were getting our first taste of the trade wind belt that circles the earth. It was peaceful, beautiful sailing, but we were never bored. By the way, we're cooking potato down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. We mash yeah. it and make potato hoshu. Wow. You never had one, do you? Potato pasty. Pasty? Pasty. What's pasty? Or pasty. Pasty. It's a hoshu. It's an English hoshu. Pastry folded, filled with whatever you want to fill it with. Maybe it's meat. Mm. Potato in this case. Mm. We have a potato and tuna, is it? Mm -hmm. Fish pasty. Oh yes, we're putting tuna in it as well, so... Fish patty. Fish or shoe. Sounds good. We've got the tomato sauce. That's a key ingredient in the pasty. Is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it is. Do you put it inside? Everything goes better with tomato sauce. Tomato ketchup. Oh, you can just dip it in it yeah. when it's done. I love kosher. I love kosher. Especially the ones you make. Some of those countryside mutton, 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 and mutton ones are pretty muttony. <laughs> Hey, good looking, what's cooking? <laughs> Cook up some wind. <laughs> Cook up some wind, will you? <laughs> so how's your going? Really good. Nearly finished. Mm, it's gonna be yummy. Yeah, I'll tell you there's gonna be a bit of leftovers. Get crazy wind tonight, so. Well, I hope we get some wind. That would be useful. And next time we wish it would be really useful. Because we can't cook like this in a windy day. <laughs> and it's 
that's in another option. Oh, by the way, what happened to fishing yesterday? Any luck? <laughs> you need to get a lesson, proper lesson, fishing lesson. I think you're doing major mistakes. <laughs> Sorry, what do you think of sailing on the spinnaker? Yeah! Flag man sent us blue ensign. Must think someone on board's retired navy. Anyway, it's the only British flag we've got, so that's the one we're going to put up tomorrow. It was the day before New Year's Eve, and we began picking up St Helena FM. We knew we were getting close. And that's how is it? If you've said, oh, I got St Helena, where it is, it is there, but it is fantastic. You're going to see that, you're going to see turtles, you're going to see whales, you're going to see dolphins, you're going to see, wow, I'm in. <laughs> It was time to start getting ready for civilization again. Hey, I don't know, he was just there next to the boat on the left. Heading uh, to the right. But the sea had one more surprise in store for us. Whales. Pilot whales. As with all encounters with whales, our excitement was tempered with caution. There are accounts like those of Bill and Simone Butler, who spent 66 days in a life raft after their yacht was attacked and sunk by pilot whales. Holy shit! Yeah, they give you a fright. Big black shape just came up, his fin was curved like this, and he just surfaced quite going quite fast, just about one boat length away on the port bow. There he is! There he is! No one knows the reasons why whales very occasionally attack boats. He's following us. But John, one of Zaya's sailing instructors back in South Africa, had his own story. There's one green boat. These whales just went to make love to it. They kept on nudging. There was no wind. They couldn't get away. They couldn't do anything. But they kept on nudging up to it. This boat was being Trying to get it aroused. That side. We just all over the course. We were all taking pictures of it. In God, we didn't have a green boat. But, yeah. oh, Susie, this bloody whale tried to make love to that green boat. It was a 25 foot boat mm. and a 40 foot whale. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's still like the Great Dane and the yeah. Chihuahua. Up to then it was just nudging and yeah. being all loving. But it came up with its dorsal fin. came up between, on the safety line, between the lower one and the higher one. And kind of hooked. Oh no. And the it tried to shake itself loose. Which, thank God, all the stanchions yeah. and the safety yeah. lines picked up well, because that boat was being... Well, he was a bit surprised. Oh, yeah, he got humped. <laughs> Female's got some appendages. Skipper reckons he's been humped by a well. Anybody want to buy a boat? Maybe he'll follow us all night, Toya. Hell him. It's possible. I've always thought this boat seems to attract whales. <laughs> Actually, the whale almost got it right. The whale's objective was to butt the boat. That boat was almost fucked. <laughs> 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 By that time, the whale's had finished with it.
How many days? Eight day today. Here we are, finally uh, arrival at St Helena Island and uh, great to be here after eight days, almost exactly eight days. We slowed the boat down last night to uh, just control the speed so we arrived at sunup. It's now about six o'clock in the morning, we've got about three or four miles to run down to the harbour at James Bay. And uh, yeah, everyone's excited to be here see some land at last and see some people. St Helena Island uh, got its first flights to the mainland at uh, Johannesburg in July this year. It's a small plane apparently that operates. I haven't heard any murmurings from the girls yet to uh, jump on board that plane and uh, abandon ship yet but they've only just discovered that there is in fact an airport here and there's a plane operating, so uh, we'll wait and see. Prior to that, they just had the uh, service vessel that I believe just ran out of Cape Town to St Helena, and that was uh, obviously to provide supplies and stores and passenger transfers to the island. So now they're connected by air. Anyway, it should be very interesting. We heard a few of the locals talking on the radio yesterday. They've got a funny accent. It's definitely British, but with a twist. So uh, anyway, it should be quite an experience. Bye for now. Next time on Lucky Fish, we go back 300 years in time and celebrate old year's last day. We explore the interior and learn the airport is a colossal white elephant.